uh, wellness is actually uh, uh, like cultivating good habits for the healthy living. Yeah. Like uh, you have told, this is a whole activity. Like uh, uh, we have to take care of all the things. But there is some time uh, type of uh, activity uh, in uh, uh, wellness that we can do it daily. That is a type of meditation or there is any uh, like that you can. Yeah, many people consider that, you know, uh, running, probably jogging, doing exercise, all this is what is wellness. Correct. I studied probably the yoga when I was uh, 17, 18 years old for three years. After that, I never practiced in my life. Got it. I don't have to practice my alphabets A, B, C, D throughout my life. Only in the beginning I do my ABCD. Then I construct my words. And after learning words, I learn little bit of grammar. Then I know how to make my poetry. Do you think throughout my life I have to practice ABCD every day morning? So this is a very bad concept. Number one. Number two. I am a psychologist, I am a teacher, I am a scientist. My job is sitting in front of my computer. During three years of COVID, I was never out of my house, out of my compound wall. But inside my compound, I was doing agriculture. Every Saturday, Sunday, I was traveling across maybe 100 kilometers to drive in somebody's farm. You can look at farming, Dr. DPS. My traditional knowledge of what my father did during the agriculture, which I never practiced in my life, came back to me as an exercise in my life during the COVID time where my physical activity were very less. I compensated with that. So what is that I am doing? What I have got in my DNA by traditional activity, I can just bring it out when there is a time really required. Not that every day I am supposed to do it. I can always get it to that back ಸಮೀಕ್ಷಕಾರಿ ಮೈ ವಿಹಾರಂ ಮೈ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಮೈ ಆಹಾರಂ is to be in such a fashion which is not dictated by somebody else which is dictated to my hitam it has to come from inside me see i cannot tell your name is sarvat right sarvat has to have every day four idlis no you were never had four idlis every day morning you had only one chapati why should i prescribe this is what the way you have to live in your life because i learned uh, breathing practices what i used to do is in my early 20s when i started my life in hyderabad every saturday i used to have young children around me we call it as balagokulam the young children around me i asked all of them take a breath and hold it i am able to hold it that doesn't mean the child is able to hold it and what am i doing i am asking them to hold and what happens immediately one of the child that push it goes out like a pressure cooker because it is not their practice why should i demand this is the way you should do it it is your hitam my exercise should not be an exercise assume that tomorrow i have to work in the field for 3 hours digging the mud probably i can do it because it is in my dna because my father was basically a farmer though i never did it in my life in my dna there is an ability to do it to do it it may come out one day assume that also is not there but i am forcefully making me to do that that becomes over exercise exercise is not the physical exercise exercise is any action which you do assume that my brain is not working i am able, i am not able to study mathematics somebody is forcing me to do mathematics finished my brain will become hemorrhage not today after some time got it it's a more pressure that is why when there is a more pressure the depression comes yes so what is exactly required that is called the adivyaya there is a beautiful definition in the charaka uh, samhita charaka samhita says 
అదివ్యాయామ మద కాసో జ్వర శర్దిశ్చ జాయతే ఇఫ్ యు డూ అదివ్యాయామం కాసో జ్వర శర్దిశ్చ జాయతే యు కెన్ హ్యావ్ బ్రీతింగ్ ట్రబుల్ అండ్ యు కెన్ హ్యావ్ వోమిటింగ్ యు కెన్ హ్యావ్ ఫీవర్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ టు బి డన్ స్వేదాగమ శ్వాస వృత్తి గాత్రాణం లాఘవం తథ ఓవర్ స్వెట్టింగ్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో బ్యాడ్ ఫర్ యూ బికాస్ ఎవ్రీ డే యు ఆర్ నాట్ డూయింగ్ ఇట్ వట్ ఇట్ సో డోంట్ డూ ఎనిథింగ్ విచ్ ఈస్ నాట్ ప్రిస్క్రైబ్డ్ ఫర్ యూ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద అల్టిమేట్ వన్ హృదయ ద్విపరోదశ హార్ట్ అటాక్ విల్ డెఫినెట్లీ కమ్ టు యూ యూ క్యాన్ ఇమాజిన్ వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపనింగ్ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ ఈస్ ప్రిస్క్రైబ్డ్ బై సంబడి ఇన్ బిజి త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ చరక సంహిత ఈస్ రిటర్న్ ఇన్ బిజి త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ హిస్ నాలెడ్జ్ హీ సేస్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టేకన్ దిస్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఫ్రమ్ మై ప్రొడ్యూసర్స్ సో ప్రాబబ్లీ మిలియన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ వాట్ ఈస్ రిటర్న్ ద ఫస్ట్ సైకాలజీ బుక్ ద ఫస్ట్ సైకాలజీ బుక్ ఈస్ రిటర్న్ ఇన్ మహా రామాయణ యోగ వాసిష్ట we don't understand all this the problem is idi vyayama lakshanam this is what is not to be done adi vyayama madakkaso jwara shardischa jayade etc etc hrudaya dyuparodascha idi vyayama lakshanam what is to be done is not prescribed what how much to be eaten i cannot eat every day same uh, no food same quantity because my mood determines i must i must eat when i stay in a five star hotel if there are variety of 60 70 items i will have one omelet i will have something else i will have this that everything at home every day i cannot eat that every day i cannot have festival i cannot have every day the basmati rice i cannot have parotta every day the same quantity because the mood the situation the environment the action which i do demands me to do that so it says how much you want to eat you want to eat uh, five chapati don't eat five eat only half of that ardha purade dannam tummy if i can fill my tummy with this much quantity eat only half of that ardha purade dannam and that half of the tummy for me is not half of the tummy for sarvat for you it is another half, whatever is your quantity what you have to decide we had a great person in kerala who is called rappai he is no more but i am sure you google it you find out he could eat 300 idli as breakfast every day not one day and three buckets of sambar three buckets of you no know, thinking that oh this man is eating like this can i eat that no you can't and there are a lot of people who hiran ratan manik he has never had his food for long years jain who practiced jainism really only water and walking on the street can i do that i cannot do that so what is my practice that if you have what you should do is don't eat too much most of the problems or health problems in this world is because i am eating too much nobody had a problem because i am eating less nobody will have problem assume that you have severe fever don't eat and then sleep on that day next day your fever will go the very good treatment don't overburden your body that is what is causing temperature in your body eat, uh, eating less with nutritious yeah that is what it is ardha puradaye dannam tad ardham varinam tatha half of that half has to be water quarter of the portion has to be free in your tummy we are a wet grinder not a dry grinder we need little space then only the the uh, no the reaction will happen and our our tummy is called the fireplace that is why when we say my tummy is burning so when my tummy is burning what i should do is not dumping something bhagavad gita says what i am eating is a brahmarpanam creating my brain to work more brahmarpanam brahmavir brahmagnau brahmanahudam brahmaiva tena gandhavyam brahma karma samadhina my eating food has to be considered as a brahma karma a sacrifice job a yatna yaga for me to become more creative so don't dump some dead bodies when you put dead bodies inside your fireplace it is called smashan so most of the people have their tummy as smashan 
So what will happen? Assume that you are eating the food of a dead animal while anybody dies. If somebody is holding me here and then making my breath stuck, definitely there will be an action coming inside me, reaction coming inside me, anger coming inside me, my blood pressure will change, my blood formula will change, my chemistry will change. When you are eating, every bit of meat what you eat has got a blood inside. And that blood has got a chemistry inside. So my emotions, feelings, everything depends on what I eat. Right. Understood? So it's a, it's a big science. It is not the exercise which makes me. It is not the meditation which makes me. It is a combination of all these that makes me to become happy. Not temporary happy. Temporary happy is very good. When I have got a itching, I keep scratching. I enjoy that time. But after some time, I realize, oh, I should not have scratched because they start bleeding. So I am not talking about the temporary happiness. I am talking about a long term happiness. Probably my tongue will be very happy when I eat a masala item. But that masala item which enjoys the quarter of my tongue is not what I am supposed to think. I must think about the 36 feet of food what goes inside my tummy. If I don't take care of that, I will suffer a little later. Right. That is what it says. My today's karma will depends on what will happen to me tomorrow. It will remain for seven janmas. The seven janma is seven days in a week. The seven janma is 20 years. Is one janma, 140 years. Throughout your life you will suffer. And not me alone. What my parents ate, that is what my tradition is. If I try to change my life entirely different in an entirely different situation, my body will not be adjusting to that. It takes some time. So we are all changing into the Western. That is why we say lifestyle has to be taken care of. It is not that lifestyle is what somebody prescribed from West is acceptable to me. No. If you go to America and check your blood pressure 150 by 100, they will say it's normal. No problem. Because for them, it is the normal. It is normal. But for us, it is not normal. Correct. So each country geographically, it matters. Age-wise, it matters. Time-wise, it matters. In childhood, I am able to do a lot of circus. Everybody can put the, the, the feet th thumb, uh, thumb also inside the mouth. That doesn't mean now you can do it. Why should you do it now? You don't have to do it now. We have been created to stand upright and then walk. Why are you upsetting your body and then putting your head down? If that was prescribed by Indian tradition, Yogacharya, I am sure there would have been at least a few gods standing inverted on the head. We don't have. They never prescribed it. What happens is some stupid fellow started doing it. Everybody started doing Shirshasana. Shirshasana is not given by Patanjali at all. Show me a textbook in which Shirshasana is given. Show me a textbook in which a lot of exercise what is being practiced today is being prescribed by Patanjali. No. Patanjali Yoga Sutra doesn't prescribe most of the things what is being practiced today. So actually what we are doing, we are overdoing it. We are unnecessarily doing it. You imagine somebody at the age of 60 says, my breathing is not perfect. I have to breathe with one nose closed and like this. So you know, when I do breathe like this, if the environment is not clean, all the pollution, polluted air with all the particles will go inside and I will have a respiratory problem after some time. Obviously. I am not supposed to keep away, go to the puja room and a small puja room in which a wick is there and an oil is kept and most of the puja oils comes from dirty animal uh, waste right. and that when I burn it produces a lot of chemicals and if I sit there and do a meditation inside that thinking that I am doing a great job I have seen a lot of people suffering after some time. Right. So we are doing okay. wrong okay. things okay. because we have got only little knowledge and then start propagating it as a great marketing strategy. Anybody can make money, but I don't know why people make money with somebody's health. Right. Right. Beautiful question, sir. Namaskar. And where are you from? Usmani. I'm from Aligarh. I'm from Aligarh. Aligarh, yeah. Wonderful. Here is an institute, IAMG. I'm working here as a professor. Aligarh, I came long back, very long back, not in the recent okay. past. You're welcome, sir. You are. I love to, love to. Send me a message. If I'm passing all through that, I could see you at least. Okay. Sure. Yeah. 
what a wonderful question no lecture will make this to speak like this come on hello yeah uh, namaste ganapati ji mera naam ganapati hegde ha ah. karnataka uh, sir ha main ha karnataka se hu main abhi main nashik mein advait vedant mein assistant professor hu sir wonderful ha uh, mera ek question tha अभी दर्शन में थियरी का जो पार्ट है ना वो थोड़ा ज्यादा रहता है अभी प्रैक्टिकल या अनुष्ठान एक दार्शनिक को क्या क्या करना होगा ऐसे कुछ किताब या रोटीन वर्क के बारे में सी अभी जो है ना सर अभी प्रेजेंट हम आधुनिक जगत में ऐसे इसको कर सकते हैं ऐसे कुछ किताब वगैरह मिल सकता है क्या सीधा द प्रॉब्लम इज वॉट वी कॉल इज द थियरी और वॉट वी कॉल इज द शास्त्र वॉट वी कॉल इज द वेदा विच इज द रियल टेक्स्ट बुक विच नेवर बिकम एज इट इज प्रैक्टिकल दैट इज वाई वी हैव एस्यूम दैट देर इज ए ऋग्वेदा the basic text book of rigveda which is a text rigveda is never practiced it's only chanted and samaveda is what makes it marketing samaveda chantings are all samaveda shastrigal their job is marketing what is the practical aspect ajurveda so there is a theory there is a marketing there is a practical aspect what is the content in rigveda ajurveda samaveda 80 percentage is exactly same but there is an ajurveda made did it really become practical for all the people at all the places no that is why people started asking questions and those questions become upanishads so upanishad is little more practically applicable so all darshana shastras have similar problem what is exactly required is you look at every bit of it just now what i said is the yoga shastra which you have got practically explained correct so each and every shloka has to be taken and then see i have not seen a book which explains all the darshana shastra practical aspect of it but i am sure it is not very difficult to make it happen think about it everything which is not practically useful only will be kept in our house if india is keeping such a knowledge for long time and we are teaching it to thousands of people every day i am sure there has to be some effect there has to be some practical aspect without that nobody will do it but whether there is a book or not you must tell this is the portion this is the chapter this is the shloka what is it probably we can refer it because it's a too large system we cannot make one find one per textbook says this is what is practically what is told in the darshana shastra darshanam itself is philosophy right so what is darshanam one of the best darshana shastra sudarshanam that is what is krishna's philosophy the krishna philosophy can be seen in the bhagavad gita so tell me bhagavad gita is not practical book or not it's a practical book but the context in which it is written the time in which it is written for what purpose it is written is not acceptable today we have to interpret it with our own style that is why the commentaries on bhagavad gita by different people looks entirely different i don't know how many people really understood many people will say bhagavad gita is making people to fight but in which context it is written it is written when the grandchild of parichit wanted to listen to this when they were almost to go for a war and that time the janama jain he told that don't fight a war if you fight a war both sides will end and it is going to be a disastrous activity so don't fight was the message but to tell that don't fight i quoted a activity which happened few years back people only have seen that description that part of the drama is only seen and then say yeah bhagavad gita is proclaiming people to fight it is not proclaiming people to fight the context in which it is written to be understood so while reading darshana shastra most essential is 
understand in the context in which it is written but rewrite it in today's reinterpreted that is why what i have done is my geeta way book my geeta way talks about how today's practical situations in the bhagavad geeta style can be explained to people nothing i i rarely by mistake i can't stop quoting maybe one or two shlokas i must have caught it otherwise i have never caught it anything like that okay it was just a description because somebody from america a youngster who is my student asked a lot of questions and i started answering it i don't want to quote lot of darshana shastra inside that so every small shlokas in this world you can see an application give me the context and tell me which shloka has to be applied i'll i'll try to help you out sir mera ek question ye tha ha main khud bhi ajitan professor hu vedant mein hum theory mein zyada focus dete hain aur practically hota nahi hai hum practically ke liye agar kuch particular ek philosopher ka aisa dincharya hona chahiye ya kuch sadhana ke liye kuch kitabe hai kya I think ऐसे कुछ प्रैक्टिकली फिलोसफर के लिए सभी दर्शनों को मिला करके अभी योगा भी चाहिए वेदांत सिर्फ थे कुछ होगा नहीं योगा भी चाहिए इसमें सपोर्ट चाहिए ही ऐसे कुछ प्रैक्टिकल दर्शन ऐसे कुछ अभी काम किया हुआ है क्या आई थिंक टू पीपल हु हैव वर्कड वेरी थरोली इनटू दिस आर राधाकृष्णन एंड अरविंदो इफ यू रीड द फिलोसॉफिकल टेक्स्ट बुक्स ऑफ अरविंदो एंड राधाकृष्णन लिटिल डीपर ऑन ऑन इफ यू वांट टू लर्न अबाउट भगवत गीता प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट I started reading not Bhagavad Gita first. I read I don't know whether you have seen the book called Gita My Mother by Mahatma Gandhi. Gita My Mother by Bha- Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was a person who practically applied Bhagavad Gita in his life. See, we have got in yoga yama, niyama, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, samadhi. In which yama is non-violence. it is easy to say theory theoretically yama is non violence but who is the man of non violence in the world well known person mahatma gandhi so he has used practically non violence in his life and he became famous only one step he reached not eight steps in ashtanga yoga not all eight steps only one step so thoroughly practically applied man who understood one step of yoga is mahatma gandhi that is why he is able to tell there is a great saying physics to einstein is conflictology to mahatma gandhi the physics to einstein when we talk about the physics einstein will come when we talk about einstein physics is the subject similarly mahatma gandhi had lot of conflicts in his life how smoothly he could get into the solutions of problems just because he was a very practical man with the philosophy in politics a vedantic politician or a political vedantist swami vivekanandan was another great man who practically seen all the vedantic philosophies in his life he was part of ramakrishna math for long years almost 15 years every day morning and evening i used to go and teach there is a vivekananda institute for human excellence in hyderabad if you look at it most of the writings of swami vivekananda are real practical essence of our vedantic philosophy darshana shastra will be there all the upanishad essence will be there i i don't think there is a great rishi practically seen this in this manner and acted and uh, applied in the life you can see a lot of people arabindo radhakrishnan mahatma gandhi vivekananda that is why they are all distinctly different correct yeah we can name many of them ramana maharshi uh, uh, narayana guru so many people were nitya chaitanya yati was one who practiced what he 
have seen in the Upanishads in his psychological aspect of treating people. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you can. You don't have to raise your hands. You can always unmute and ask. Thank you, Guru. Sir, yeah. I just wanted to know that uh, it uh, workplaces, everybody is overburdened and they are they are having too much stress in their mind. Hmm. And this is, uh, sometimes what they are doing all these things. So how can we get to that? I don't know whether Niranjan is more busier than Prime Minister of India. <laughs> I worked with the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. 20 hours they work. We have seen Modi traveling from America, coming back in the Delhi and immediately he will take another flight and go to Calcutta. As soon after that he will travel to Bangalore. Is he a human being or not? One of our relative who comes from America will say three days he has to sleep because he has got jet lag. Eight hours I have to sleep, otherwise I cannot lie, live in this world. But let there be a beautiful activity happening at your home, you can skip your sleep. So all these pressure, time, all these are until now up to 11.30, I attended many of the calls which are required for me to attend. I was very busy from morning onwards. But I know exactly 11.45 I start, 11.30 I start my job. See, 24 hours is like... A vessel given to me. Inside that vessel, I can put two major activities, two big tennis balls. The vessel is full. Is it full? No, still there are space in between. I can take little bit of pebbles and then put it inside. Is it full? No, still I can take some sand and put it inside. Is it full? No, I can put water inside and then fill it up. But you do the other way. You take water first and then take sand and then put pebbles. You will not see the space for the big tennis balls. So time is 24 hours for everybody. What is to be managed is not the time. The activity. If I know how to take care of my activities. Put them in the sequence in which my priority I must decide. I am sure you are a very easy person. Dr. TPS never said no to anybody. Let it be a lecture. Let it be a call. Let it be traveling to somewhere else. I see all the movies. The day it releases in all the OTT platforms. Netflix. And you, you tell me which movie I have not seen. I have seen all the movies. That is Hindi, Marathi, Kannada, Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam, all these movies I see. I sleep only 2.30. You try at 2 o'clock. Telephone. I get calls at 2 o'clock because I have students from US. And 4.30, 5 o'clock again I am back. It is not. It is a practice. Oh, I don't have time. I am too busy. No. When I was a scientist in my office, all the time my table was clean. And I keep saying, if I am here or not, everything will work. It is not, I think that if I am not there, everything will collapse. That's a wrong practice. Actually, for last one week, my wife is not here. I am cooking. Morning, I cooked my breakfast. I had my breakfast. I will send you the picture of my breakfast. I had an aloo sabji. I had a chutney. I had a dosha. And I had a beautiful tea prepared. You look at Dr. TPS tea making. You will see me making tea. But making tea, boiling water, I know this much time it takes. Because water is same, stove is same, vessel is same. I don't keep looking at it whether it will overflow or not. Because during that time, I know it takes only 3 minutes for me to boil it. I have got 3 minutes made for some other job to do. Got it? I, I clean my house, I wash my clothes. I don't even make my clothes to wash by somebody else. It's all your, your, see, you will see me planting trees, big trees with no weapon. Actually, what I do is the motor is on 
and I'll take the pump with the high pressure. I dig it and then plant it. Easily I can plant. Very easily I can plant. I can make holes in the mud with a high pressurized pressure. I'm a physics man. I'm a mathematician. Basically my subject is fluid mechanics. So I understand physics. Got it? So yes, you have to make your life so smooth. It is in your hand. That's very, very simple. I don't think Prime Minister will say I am too busy. Still, he is able to meet people. He is able to enjoy. He is able to talk to people. All that is being done, right? I have seen the life of Prime Minister. That's what I am saying. So, I keep always saying, when I somebody says I am busy, I will say, no, I am not as busy as Prime Minister. Will say. That's the starting statement which I say. But sir, sometimes we will have to do such work which are uh, not, uh, you know, Right. Yeah, wonderful. That is a very, very good statement. There is a center for um, Mari Chennaradi Institute for Human Excellence. That trains all the superintendent, senior officers of police, uh, uh, doctors and everybody in Hyderabad. I used to go for te teaching there. So somebody says, for last 18 years, I am doing donkey's job. I am not getting promotion. I say, quit the job, yeah. If you don't like the job, quit the job. Oh, if I quit the job, I don't get any other job. So you know you are useless, but still you want promotion, right? Assume you don't like Dr. TPS left the prime minister's office job. You know for what? Teaching children in my village. 2009, I took my volunteer retirement. I would have served there another 20 years, which I did not do. Because what I wanted to do in my life is my passion. I decided I get a pension. My minimum life is secured and my children are getting uh, educated well. Good enough. That is why we have Brahmacharyam, Garhastyam, Vanaprastham and Sanyas. Why do you require? I have already made four houses. Two in Hyderabad. You look at Google map. Dr. DPS, you will see three houses. Another one more is unused. What else is required in life? Why are you starving with all the properties around you? <laughs> I think somewhere we must understand my job in life is L-I-F-E. Live in full enjoyment. Learn in full enjoyment. Learning is an investment for future earning. Life, what is that you require? Learn, earn, fame. No. No. Ultimately, what we require is happiness. Vedanta go Brahmanaha, Satchatriyo Vijayi Bhavet, Vaishyo Dhana Samardaha, Shudra Sukham Apniyat. We have to have a Brahmin thinking about knowledge. I must have power and position thinking like I am a Chatriya. I must be a Vaishya making money. But more than all this, I must be a Shudra. So who am I? I am four in one. Vedanta go Brahmanaha, Chatriyo Vijayi Bhavet, Vaishyo Dhana Samardaha, Shudra Sukham Apniyat. Niranjan, leave everything, come with me for 10 days. I will show you how to make your life smooth. Nothing is going to happen. We thought that if I vacate my house, the world is going to be toppled. Nothing. Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi died. Nothing happened to us. Nehru died when I took birth, 1964. Indira Gandhi died when I joined for masters. The first time I saw the TV when Indira Gandhi died. When I got my job, uh, Rajiv Gandhi died. Nothing happened to the India. We believe that, this is how I remember dates. When I teach history, I will say relate to your life and learn. I have got a lot of students who are civil service aspirants. I have got a beautiful book on civil service prelims handbook. You have to relate to your life. I do many things. Not this alone. I do cooking. While cooking, I can talk to somebody or their problems. Right? Now somebody has called me actually. The call is on. Somebody is listening my lecture. I did not disconnect. If you want to listen to my lecture, let him listen to my lecture. Right? So another call will not come. The call is on for some time. <laughs> Until he disconnects, the next call comes. I will switch on and then allow him to listen to my lecture. 
he is the businessman from somewhere else i am no i'm sure he is not a philosopher who wanted to listen to my lecture but if he is interested let him listen to my lecture no how does it stop so that another call will not come <laughs> after each each program of one hour i will have 100 calls i have to recall i have to call all of them or send a message which i do that try sending a message to me immediately you will get reply because if i don't send it now i am thinking that tomorrow i will be more free right i am not thinking tomorrow i am more free i'll be more busy tomorrow so finish your activity now udyamam sahasam dhairyam buddhi shakti parakramam shadhede yatra vartande devam tatra prakashyat and what sort of activity i do ena kena prakarena yasya kasya bi dehinah santosham janayat pratna tadaivam ishvara poojanam you know when i do something for somebody to become happy it becomes so enjoyable morning i finished i edit my own video you can see tomorrow when this or whatever happened yesterday i've got a camera kept there the screen is being grabbed i put them together because where i am speaking on the screen so many messages are coming so my face is being hidden most of the time so what do i do i've got another camera and this and that i'll mix together yesterday 230 only i finished editing this video and i posted it and then slept and morning i finished another uh, posting of my video i do a film editing job dr tps film you see me in films i also make short films you tell me what you cannot do niranjan come where are you from niranjan i am from madhya pradesh madhya pradesh wonderful place yeah. wonderful place yeah. Yeah. i was there in go Go, the what is that our uh, ex president's house is there no gontha gonthia yeah? madhya pradesh aurangabad i keep traveling to all these places yeah uh, namaste dr tps namaste priyanka jammu kashmir ah uh, uh, mahode kaise hai enjoying life is always enjoy मनी but in case if i am not getting treated my disease is not cured i am going to kill you and a great philosopher he is not a medicine expert he gave a dabba in a medicine and then said a hey, king you can have this medicine but while taking this medicine don't think about a monkey if you think about a monkey this will not work so what will happen all the time the king will take medicine what should not be thought monkey so what he thought already monkey <laughs> so he could never consume medicine so thinking about controlling the mind itself is the worst process you understood don't try to control the word control is not what is used in any of our scriptures allow it to fly meditation is not closing your eyes to control the mind you divert your attention from what is around you to inside look at meditate dr tps yesterday also i told you just concentrate when you are upset when you wanted to do i said my mother's lap is my meditation center when i am having a thought which is uncontrollable i want to kill somebody i want to scold somebody i have to control what is to be done go and lie down in your bed keeping your hand like this tell me on the bed i am giving a practical example problem solution for you tell me on the bed that is how when everybody becomes upset they react like this only in a small child also go and sleep on the mummy's lap putting the head down that is how we pat on the back 
Correct? My mother is not alive. Until my mother was alive, I used to do it every day. I enjoyed sleeping on my mother's lap. By the time I come from my office in Sakandrabad, she used to stay with me. When I come from office, she will run for making chai. I'll say, come and sit down here. I want to sleep on your lap. At the age 40 also, I slept on her lap. At least five minutes, I will sleep. All the problems in the office, I will forget. The time I sleep, I am a two-year-old child. Understood? What a beautiful... In my life made a simple book, I have written this. If you are not getting sleep, Sleep as if you are sleeping on your mother's lap. You are not Priyanka Arya who is a teacher. Dr. TPS is not a teacher or a professor or a scientist. I am a small child on my mother's lap. You know what a beautiful feeling. That is the meditation. Which is the best meditation place in the world? Mother's lap. My mother is no more now. Now what do I do? Sleep on the bed as if I am sleeping upside down. Concentrate on your breathing. The tummy will go up and down. When I am sitting here, when you are sitting there, you are not feeling that you are breathing. It is not <sighs> which makes you to understand the breathing. Attention to your breath which goes inside you and coming out. Pranapana Vyanodhana Samana Me Shudyandam I am thinking the air is going inside and coming out, thinking air going inside, out. Just concentrate on that. All the problems will get diluted. Swami Vivekananda said, when you have a real problem, close your nose, dip inside water. You are almost close to death. Come out and then see what you are thinking. I want to have a breath. All other problems will go. Got it? I want to scold you. I keep saying, somebody wanted to scold me. Priyanka wanted to scold me. I will say, scold me. But have one glass of water. Again you want to scold me? Drink another glass of water. Keep on drinking water. Then definitely you will say, I have to go to washroom. Go to washroom, flush it out. Then come back. I am sure you will forget the subject for which you want to scold. Me. Delay is the process. Don't react immediately. Okay. Water treatment. Water therapy is a big treatment. And for the youngsters, probably all this doesn't work. Assume somebody, your daughter or a son of 15 year old boy or a girl is real anger. Give him 500 rupees and say, go to bazaar, eat wherever you want, buy whatever you want, see whatever movie you want. All the problems will be solved. I call it as retail therapy. <laughs> so I give a lot of practical problems. That means divert your attention. Thinking about problem is the biggest problem. Okay, we keep adding compartment dabba after dabba after dabba after dabba. Why? Because we don't have any other job to do. Get engaged into something else. So don't try to control. The word try is a wrong word. Control is a wrong word. Just allow it to fly. It will go by itself. The more you try to control... It will become worst place. Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for that. Such a nice answer. Namaskar, TPS, Dr. TPS. Namaste. I am going to open the Open University of Haldwani. Trilok Singh. Yes, sir, yes. One, one, we have only one lock, but he has got three locks. Yes. Yeah. Sir, my question was that we practice well-being, like yoga, meditation and physical activity, so what kind of practices can we do? The other thing is that we have to do in our education or our schools or in our schools, हम योगा को ज्यादा जो है प्रमोट कर रहे हैं जबकि मेडिशन मेडिटेशन मुझे लगता है कि एक विद्यार्थी के लिए या एक स्टूडेंट के लिए या एक यूथ के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और ये एक्चुअली सर मैं स्वामी राम एक मेडिटेशन के लगता है सबसे अच्छे 
गुरु कहे उनके संस्था में मैंने काम भी किया है उनके जहाँ गाँव उनकी एक संस्था है तो उनका जो दर्शन है या जो मेडिटेशन का उन्होंने बहुत सारा काम किया है तो लेकिन उनका काम जो है इन इंडिया में कम मुझे दिखाई देता है और विदेश जैसे अमेरिका या अन्य लोग हैं वहाँ पर लोग आके जो है बहुत सारा मेडिटेशन प्रैक्टिस करते हैं I am a meditation master from Swami Rama, the Himalayan tradition. Yes, yes. Swami Rama talks about meditation not closing your eyes, opening your eyes, being in action. Actually, we are wasting lot of time by closing your eyes and sitting and then not doing anything. Number one. Number two, all the yoga asanas being practiced are not. Adi Vyayamam already I said. प्राणायामेन युक्त सर्वरोग सर अयुक्ताभ्यास सर्वरोग समुद्भव इफ यू डोंट डू प्राणायाम इन द राइट वे अयुक्ताभ्यास डूइंग इन ए रोंग वे इट कैन हैव लॉट ऑफ हेल्थ इंपैक्ट्स ऑन यू सो मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रैक्टिस व्हाट वी डू वी कैन नॉट गिव ए कॉमन प्रैक्टिस फॉर हंड्रेड पीपल थाउजेंड पीपल टूगेदर एवरी वन हेज गॉट दर ऑन स्टाइल दे हैव गॉट दर ऑन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन single medicine for all diseases is not practical it is not to be done that is the modern style our style is understand the people understand their pulse understand their philosophy understand their biology understand their dna understand their pattern understand their uh, uh, geography where they are from and then give treatment so it is not a common practice which can be given to everybody saying that you do yoga all your problems will be solved it is not a capsule to be given to everybody like that we are overdoing it we are wrongly doing it you know with all these stupid practices india's happiness index is too low we are much worse than pakistan can you imagine india is much worse than pakistan you look at dr tps pakistan you will see a lot of people interviewing me they have interest for knowledge they are suffering so they want to improve themselves what india have we have lot of lavishness we have lot of social care so we don't require to do lot of work so we can become lazy swami vivekananda said our problem is tushni bhavam tushni bhavam is idleness laziness and we wanted to get rid of don't do any action you don't do farming but you do yoga every day every day you go for a walking but you don't do the homework the house you make a servant maid to do the cleaning why are you doing it you can't wash your vessel you can't clean your cloth you can't uh, clean your house for all this you pay and you start running outside cleaning house is the best exercise you want a shower bath you don't even bend down in a bucket you cannot have water and then take this mug and then pour it on your body you want hot water bath you cannot take water in cold water we want everything to be conditioned air conditioned and then you do yoga asana for sweating you make your temperature in your room 16 degree and use another blanket for covering you what a contradiction is this our lifestyle means what we have around my environment what is prescribed in my dna i have got an old house 200 year old house i don't even use fan even today my environment is good if the temperature is high i am ready to sweat if it is too cold i am ready to suffer no it's i i sleep outside in the veranda only i'll sleep in my house when i go to my village i think we need to understand it holistically that is what i think i made it very clear meditation in action you referred swami rama i am so thankful it is my guru himalayan tradition meditation master swami rama his disciple swami mahamandaleshwar swami vedabharati if you look at meditate dr tps you can see me sitting with uh, mahamandaleshwar swami vedabharati we were sitting together and then that is how we our relationship was so i am the probably only one south indian uh, disciple of swami mahamandaleshwar swami vedabharati we always believe meditation in action while giving lecture dr tps is in meditation 
I don't have to close my eyes and waste my time. I don't have time for that. Got it? So what we practice today is actually fooling people. In my book on rhythm of life, I have written, I, on the yoga day, I have seen a lot of people standing in a line and a photographer has taken a beautiful picture, all the legs in a straight line. Is it, is it keeping people in order? Keeping people in order, in kramam, or leaving them free as they want is what is yoga and meditation. I believe having my freedom to execute what I want is my happiness and blissful. Not putting me in a line and then making everybody to do the same circus which somebody else is showing me to do it. So I have, I have put a video which is called Yoga is not monkey's job. Listen to that. Lo yoga is not monkey's job. So we are overdoing. We are wrongly doing. It has to be understood. I am sure after some time people will realize all these are wrong. Pranabana, pranayama na yukte na sarva yoga samaraha. Pranayama, when you do, all the disease can be cured. Ayukta bhyasa yoga na sarva yoga samudbaha. If you do it wrongly, many diseases can come to you. So be very careful. Be very careful. Most of the people who prescribed this, they are sick. We have a great Rishi who is practicing and making a lot of money. Getting the first line in his. Uh, big satsang cost lakhs of rupees. When he becomes diseased, he goes to Daradun, the medical college run by Swami Rama's medical college. He doesn't practice his practices. He gets admitted there. I have seen him there. I have seen him in treatment. But he is selling his medicine. Recently, he has been charged for making false. I have seen a lot of people doing it. Somebody is making... To breathe one nose and the another nose made a lot of money. Actually, he became a guru by cheating his own guru. Not from the tradition what he has got. And another big guru is there who only runs on WhatsApp advertisements. I have not seen him quoting a single Sanskrit sloka. Only blah 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 in West. Western English fluently speaking makes him a great guru. My intention is not to criticize somebody. But we have been overselling it, misinterpreting it, doing wrong. That is where my worry is. Yeah. Krishna Joshi Ji. Sir, Namaste. Namaste. Aapne kaha tha, bhoot saare movies aapne dekhti hai. Yeah. So, every day, every day. See, I, what I do is um, Amitabh Bachchan's um, Everest movie, Unchai. Unchai movie, Deka. You know what I do? Immediately I plan. I will go to Everest. So, next few months I was there in Everest. It is not I see the movie and forget it. I practice it immediately. <laughs> okay. So, I follow it thoroughly. Not just listen and forget it. That is what makes us to feel, yeah, if Amida Bachchan could do, it's only a movie, but then, yeah, why should not I travel? Got it? So, every movie, there are plenty of them. All this, uh, no, um, all, all the Hindi series which comes, I see most of them. The other day I saw one uh, uh, that. Um, <laughs> Recently in West Bengal there was one movie which is shoot at Panchayat. Soon after seeing Panchayat, what I did is I got a, I get a lot of call from different places for lectures. So I have to choose which one I want. So I saw, yeah, this is the place where this Panchayat is shoot, shoot at. Immediately I said, I am coming to your place. The location is where I wanted to go and see that place. Whether that is shooted there, I go and see that place. That's what I do. <laughs> Maharashtra, Marathi, there is a beautiful movie. It's an old one, Cycle. What a beautiful movie is that. So, so many. Um, I, I see Amazon, Netflix, Discovery, what not. I invest a lot of my time. And documentary is one which makes me to feel really wonderful. See, if you have not seen documentaries like Seaspiracy. Seaspiracy. Conspiracy is a word we know. What he did is the con he has changed and put C. Seaspiracy. 
that is what happens in the um, united nations development programs how wrongly it is implemented seaspiracy how sea is being polluted second one cowspiracy c o w cow cowspiracy beautiful documentary and well known um, well known wrong information being spread is global warming the inconvenient truth is the movie which made global warming very famous the inconvenient truth but don't stop see that inconvenient truth but don't stop it there immediately you should see the great global warming swindle the great global warming swindle swindle means wrong story wrongly quoted if you see both of them together think you yourself edeshchadi tatakuru you think and decide which is correct as <laughs> as krishna told don't just listen you use your wisdom and decide what is correct so you should look at it from both side correct today there was a news that um, elon musk nasa everybody is thinking of making somebody to land on the moon so what happened in 1969 did somebody land it correct so the moon hawks there is a beautiful documentary the moon hawks i am from space department i am part of isro for 20 years my pension is being given by space the moon hawks see documentaries see vivekananda's documentary see ambedkar documentary all documentaries i don't leave any documentary when mahatma gandhi story to be done the gandhi my father also to be seen don't see the gandhi movie alone see what is that son has to talk about mahatma gandhi when wrong brothers invented uh, who invented uh, aircraft wrong brothers then you should also see what is indian um, you know indian style of aircraft which we made that also you should see akash see the movie aircraft you see the movie see there are a lot of things which you can learn probably i yesterday also i was mentioning mahabharata by peter brooks when i was teaching bhagavad gita during the covid time one lady from uh, france and italy she kept shifting she attended my class and then i was asking what uh, makes you to learn this bhagavad gita from me so she was telling the person who acted in that uh, peter brooks mahabharata as arjuna happened to be her boyfriend correct <laughs> so when when <laughs> a lot of relationship comes assume that when she speaks to me if i have not seen peter brooks mahabharata i would have been a fix so you must see when you see movies it connects you to a lot of people connects you to a lot of places makes things to understand that's what is to be done yeah hello yeah hello hello is yes. alexander graham bell's girlfriend Hello, is Alexander Graham Bell's girlfriend? I don't think there is a hello here. I am Doctor TPS. Okay, Doctor TPS. So yeah. I am curious to ask this question. Yeah. That uh, were you as much as happy before you took a voluntary retirement in two thousand nine? See, the day I joined in Department of Space, under the glass bottom, I kept a small chit saying, "This is the date I am going to retire." exactly 20 years when i get my pension i decided why did i work in department of space is because my madhya pradesh has to be filled correct basic needs i need basic needs yeah. yes and during the time almost every saturday sunday i used to go for lectures when i was in prime minister's office in delhi 108 week days 54 weeks in a year 2 years 108 i traveled from out of delhi for lectures then i decided oh there is enough enough demand for my classes i did it yesterday there was an interview from 9:30 to 11 o'clock in a malayalam channel and that they are cutting into pieces and then putting 30 minutes 30 minutes every day and once that is posted there will be at least 50000 people seeing in one week time good enough in life make you happy 
and there will be a lot of negative comments also but that negative comments will be forgotten immediately somebody telephones and says yo i am so blessed i could hear you so your comments your contacts all these makes my life much more happier and better if i do something which is going to make ena kena prakarena yasya kasya bi dehinah santosham janayat pratna tadeva mishara poojanam when i go back to my village last trip when i went back i went and so, uh, met my 10th class science teacher 10th class who taught me physics chemistry he has gifted a diary his diary 1978 book in which he has written bhagavad gita sanskrit on other side, one side sanskritam other side malayalam translation in his own handwriting he gifted to me saying that you are the only one student of me who is following bhagavad gita he is a science teacher but he also loves bhagavad gita he is a very senior elderly person he said this is what i wanted to give you as a gift i have written the whole thing with my own handwriting just to give you imagine a teacher loves you like that what else is required in life so i got great teachers who loves me so much what it when i go back to my village 200 year old village stay there 3 days many of my old friends teachers everybody will come my relatives will come somebody will get me food nobody is there it's a closed house the time i go people will come there that is all because what i am doing it's not because the physical body what is my intention what is my objective what is my scope what is my action that is more important you have to live like this enjoy your life if i don't enjoy how do i make uh, your name i am not able to read only sun sundaresh yeah sundaresh sundaresh is sundaresh you are the most beautiful person saundaryam is there in you right the saundaryam is not the physical saundaryam it is the emotional yeah, sound yeah. enjoy enjoy every bit of your life okay sir uh, uh, i would like to ask one more question if i am allowed yeah yeah uh, see when i uh, when i when we teach in a classroom students usually enjoy but whenever exam approaches or test approaches students or uh, experience kind of anxious because they don't want to be judged or evaluated since you written book on education so i thought i would like to ask this question so i might some see there is a book on education which is called adaptive learning don't do, look at all the books you look at dr tps enjoy study exam there is a blog send me a whatsapp i'll send you all this there is a blog which okay, I'll do a number please that will be i'll do that sure, sure. there is a blog which is called enjoy study exams in which i keep seeing every student enjoy exam hall I have written thirty points to students, twenty points to parents and teachers. That is in the lower classes. Higher classes, twenty points to students and ten points to teachers because parents have no role. Doctor T P S wrote L L B, M B A, M S, P H D, M S C, M P H L. All these I enjoyed my exam. I enjoy my exam. You are a V V I P in an exam. I make all children to think like that. correct that is the only place people are treated like vvips in the exam hall only yes yes i am sure a good student and the worst student enjoy exam hall. only the medium students have got these problems that is where bhagavad gita has to be understood arjuna was going for a war he has got tension he gave 101 reason to run away from the exam hall of his exam hall is the kurukshetra war krishna said don't worry you are supposed to be a warrior you are supposed to fight examination and test these are two terminologies used in education department and by the doctors doctors also do the test and the examination of urine blood etc etc is it because doctors want us to test or we want the doctor to test us the patient has to feel that please examine my blood so that you can treat me well every student must ask for exams 
we should not make them to write exams exam writing should be everyday job i was teaching that my last job was as a employee where i got my salary was after retirement i did so many jobs one of the job was during covid i was a professor of mathematics in the kl university in hyderabad so you look at klh dr tps i was teaching logical reasoning mathematical ability data analysis interpretation skill communication skill so many subjects and in this after every 40 minutes lecture i will give a test paper every day there is an examination why should you do examination only at the end of the year end of the semester every day exam what is the exam what did you learn from this session if you are able to tell me you passed that is how i gave my internal marks another examination is you attended my one hour lecture you wanted to be my student assume somebody says that i want to be your student immediately what i will ask is write what did you learn in the last one hour lecture you send it to me like a note if you are not able to send it you are not attending my class if you are able to write a precision what did you learn in a class like a paraphrasing it's called a paraphrasing i can make in my own words what did i learn in my class you passed the exam then no examination is a problem for you we don't do that we only make them to study it just before one day of the exam that is why this tension is come examination has to be a daily job right i have got students who studied in mit one of the best universities in the world my student who wrote in mit mit she will go and beg i want exam i want exam i want exam and all the examination which is supposed to be 3 hours she will finish in 1 hour get 100 out of 100 in all the exams that's a credit and mit interviewed me how did you make the student like this i said after every talk every class every meeting i demand write down what did you learn and send it to me that's assignment to give so this has to be the practice we are not teaching in the style we are supposed to teach learn nanes principles of teaching nanes principle nine nine steps in teaching methodology my book on adaptive learning that is also available on internet which i wrote in 2005 i studied from mit professor how to become a good teacher adaptive learning technology when i was a director for academic staff college i wrote that book in 2000 yeah 2005 i wrote that book adaptive learning published by discovery publishers but they closed to discovery publishers so you can get the pdf download it straight and recently i rewrote it in the 3 to 1 world third decade of 21st century i believe everything is moving very fast so we should not talk about 21st century education we should talk about third decade of 21st century 3 to 1 world 3 2 1 world that's a word coined by me 3 2 1 world we are living in the 3 2 1 world adaptive learning i wrote a book i went to sri lanka for a talk in an education department i wrote a book adaptive learning in sri lanka how to implement it cannot be like what we are implementing in india so that book also is there i think we have to understand the students understand the situation give them happiness learning should be happiness that's what is to be done. wonderful question sundareshan wonderful question sundareshwara i will call you sundareshwara well, thank you sir thank you. thank you very much sir uh, now dr swapna swapna yes yes ma'am uh, so thank you so much sir on behalf of the entire team i extend my deepest gratitude to dr pp sasikumar for delivering such a thought provoking session on human wellness indian uh, dualism talks your insights into how philosophy and psychology inter uh, intertwine as a part of the indian knowledge system were truly enlightening the breakdown uh, of wellness into physical emotional intellectual social and spiritual dimensions allowed us to reflect on the holistic nature of the, of our world uh, your emphasis on the importance of uh, perspective in addressing life challenges was uh, especially powerful reminding us of the multifaceted approach necessary for true life balance the mention of six qualities uddhamam sahasam dhairyam shakti prakaram where divinity resides 
provided a profound spirituality, spiritual connection to the practical aspects of wellness. Thank you once again for sharing your wisdom and enriching our perspectives. We look forward to future opportunities to engage with you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Supna Jai, and uh, thank you, Dr. Pinky Malik, for hosting me. My salutations and pranams to each one of you. Thank Get you, you sir, for blessings. sharing your expertise and insights with us. Thank you Thanks so much. Nice. Thank you so much. Pranams and prayers. Mm-hmm.